This is actually very good. Hello, ladies and gents of the web. This is me, Paul. Welcome back to my studio, Warsaw Poland, to my humble YouTube channel. Good to see you again. I know it's been a while, a week since I released my previous video, and I have to tell you, I've been really, really busy, both professionally and in the private meaning, let's say. And I'm not gonna talk about it, don't worry. But life is sometimes, aha, uh, a beautiful yet a weird thing, and it's good to remind yourself that you're not just a video making robot. You're a human, after all. And I hope you're fine with it. <laughs> yeah, but as I said, we're not gonna talk about it today. I could have set up a separate, probably quite an interesting YouTube channel on that. But did you hear about Lalal AI? You probably might have heard about them. If not, this is an online AI stamp separation service. The thing is that the guys from LLL AI contacted me asking, would you review LLL AI for us? And I said, yes, but let's make it a sponsored thing. In the meaning that I'm gonna keep my opinion on your product, but you're gonna buy kind of a priority review so that you pay for the time I spent with your software and keeping it very high on, uh, high on my priorities list for, for the videos to make. And the guys agreed, and they also agreed to keep my opinion absolutely independent, which is cool, but also is very self-confident, I have to tell you, because today I'm gonna compare Lelel AI to Spectral Layers by Steinberg, which is my favorite software for music stem separation, and I consider it a very, very good one. And I'm gonna make a bet. Lalal AI is not going to be better. Might be even, uh, might be all, no, almost same good. It's not gonna be better, but hey, LL AI, you asked me for this. So let's see what happens in my very own independent way. And as always, if you think this channel makes sense, if you like my studio and my videos, please consider subscribing somewhere here down in the corner, getting notified, liking this vid, commenting on it down below so that I know what you think about Lelal AI and what is your favorite stem separation software. Let's go. <gasps> I almost forgot. If you like the software and would like to support me as well, you're gonna find an affiliate link down below. Thanks. Okay, I'm gonna show you basically the session I prepared, but before that, let's take a look at uh, Lelel AI website. <clears throat> this is it. What is Lelel AI, a next generation vocal remover and music source separation service um, for fast, easy, and precise stem extraction? Da 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 da. And the way it works is that first you choose the stem you want to separate. It's not like you throw in a file and it splits the file into all the stems all at once. You have to actually point to the file many times to get every stem and each stem will be separated the way that it's vocals and the rest, drums and the rest, bass and the rest, etc. Thus, I suppose, I suppose because I don't know it, it is a destructive uh, stem separation, mm, meaning that when, I, when the stems sum up, they're not gonna be equal one-to-one -to, -one to the original track. Mm, Steinberg spectral layers actually is non-destructive, so all the stems separated, they sum up perfectly to the full um, uh, mix and, and master of the track you're working with. You can also work with Lalal AI using a desktop um, app, also a mobile app, uh, app, I think. I downloaded the app. Here I've got this plus to choose the file. Then I choose the file, then I process it. And as you can see, I already processed two tracks. It took some time, but not unreasonably much time. And the cool thing is that I can make Lalal AI work um, simultaneously on a couple of stems. I don't have to wait for one stem to be processed. I can point the same file many times, 
so I get the results with different stamps um, in reasonably short time, let's say, while in uh, spectral layers I just point one the fi one file, I use an ARA extension, and uh, then I tell spectral layers to separate this to separate the stamps for me and it takes a while on extreme setting even though my pc is a monster it's a very fast pc but the results as i said are very good with spectral layers and guys what i did is that i took two tracks this is track number one track number two i took them from artlist and this one's gonna have watermarks because artlist today had some kind of a um, issue server issue I could not log in, then I could not download, then I could uh, actually download, but with watermarks. So this track is going to have a watermark in it. The second one will not have a watermark because I downloaded it prior the uh, Artlist server issues today. And what I did then is that Spectral AS vocals, Lala AI vocals, same stuff for drums, bass, guitars in Spectral AS, Lalal AI offers acoustic and electric guitars separate separation, separate separation one. Well, then piano, piano, and spectral layers just gives you the option of others, while Lalal AI gives you synthesizers, strings, and woodwinds. And guys, I'm not gonna make much guess just by looking at, uh, at the waveforms. And I also, of course, uh, made them in the groups so that we can uh, see whether uh, spectral layers is really um, non-destructive it is and whether lalal ai is uh, destructive actually and just by looking at this synth stem there's a lot of info here plus all the others i already can make a bet with 99.9 percent .9 certainty that um, lalal ai is destructive but you know what i don't care that's not the reason that I separate stems to bring them back together exactly the same way. No, I'm going to use vocals or something else for remixing. So I don't care whether my stems sum up to just the same thing. Why should I? I'm not splitting them to combine them again back to the same form, right? Anyway, guys, that's the first track. Let's listen to it. Mm. To maybe this very central most dense part. That's enough. So this is pop rock song. I wanted to make it sound a bit dense, radio-like, heavily compressed, and kind of really also Mm, arranged using not even many elements but elements brought up together as a dance mix so we've got some bass guitars uh, vocals drums maybe some synths uh, in the background that's it uh, so it's relatively simple but it's also kind of dense so that should be a challenge the second track you're gonna uh, you're, you're about to hear later on is more difficult actually but we're gonna get to this later and guys as i said i did all the separation using spectral layers and lalal ai and i haven't listened to literally anything i know nothing and now we're gonna compare stem by stem are you ready i am spectral layers vocals with you i see the morning always comes with you i hear the story so bad I told you, spectral layers is very good. And I didn't tell you that. I had a chance to listen to Lalal AI like two or three years ago. It was okay, but it didn't really blow my mind. Hopefully the algorithm improved, but spectral layers and Steinberg people, they also improved their products a lot with each version. And um, anyway, this is Lalal AI vocal stem. With you I see the morning always comes With you I hear the story so bad Wow! Oh, uh, that's actually really good. It's a bit different. It's got a bit different character. Uh, I think that as um, Spectralius is a bit more re reverberated, not that dry, while Lalal AI 
kept the thing dry, let's compare again. With you I see that morning always come. With you I see that morning always come. With you I hear the story so bad. With you I hear the story so bad. Yes, yeah, so um, Steinberg preserved spectral layers, uh, preserved a bit of space, a bit of stereo image of this space, and just a bit better intelligibility of, of the whole thing, the clarity of the whole thing, while Lalal AI is a bit muffled, especially in the beginning, and it's kind of too dry. That's not uh, how the vocals in this track are intended. But I have to tell you, it's also not bad at all, so maybe let's make some kind of a uh, competition. And here we're gonna go one, zero, for spectral layers, actually. I like spectral layers a bit more in this task, but let's continue. Okay, both are kind of snappy. Both try to uh, take care of transients with very uh, moderate success. But here, mm, um, mm, Spectral is trying to retrieve the ambience. I didn't like it. It's artifacting, it's like smudging um, mm, mm, too much. And no, I prefer dry drums from Lalal AI here because I can still reverberate them while we're mixing, doing whatever. So actually this is kind of a um, surprise because I would give a point to Lalal AI. Also what I've noticed is hidden here. Uh, there is something uh, here that Lalal AI interpreted as drums while speculators didn't. Also, there is this very sign-like hum in, uh, in Lalal AI version, but I don't care, it's very easy to um, remove. But actually, let's listen to the original, whether we have some kind of hats here or this is just uh, Lalal AI hallucinating. As if hope was a pill or a bottle or a phone that could hold me Heal all my sorrow but still nothing upholds me and frees my... That's interesting. Because at, uh, at the very first glance it's, you think it's a guitar, but when you think about it there is something that is maybe not a guitar but kind of a synthetic, kind of low-pitched hi-hat. And also, um, Spectral Layers also detected it, but very inconsistently, while Lalal AI did it in a consistent way. And you know what? I like it. Uh, I think it's a proper uh, interpretation of this thing. So here, both for, uh, both for um, clarity and interpretation of the material, I would say this is a point for Lalal AI, which is a surprise for me. Now we come to bass. Not the cleanest bass, and also I don't like sometimes spectral layers making the bass stereo, because this bass probably as it is it's kind of completely mono. Let's listen to the original. You see the morning always no, it's not. Actually, this bass is stereo. So, okay, this time it's fine, but still a lot of info not coming from the bass, definitely, while Lalal AI is... This is actually very good. Um, what about this part? This is the base of this track. Uh, 
it's a point for Lalal AI, and it's a strong point for Lalal AI. And that's a second surprise. And maybe I just started uh, understanding the confidence of Lalal AI people in their product, telling me, just do your stuff, do your review. We're not going to influence your opinion in any way. Uh, guitar, and this is interesting because um, Spectral Layers just gives you the guitar stem, while Lalal AI gives you um, acoustic and um, electric guitar. And this is not correct because Sometimes I'm finding the place like my life's moving past me and I get so caught up in things I'll forget 10 days from life. There is no element, no trace of electric guitar and this is what we get from spectral layers. <laughs> Yeah, very blurred, smudging, kind of, uh, while Lala AI is... It is trying to have some of this real guitar nice snap. And as it is probably destructive, uh, I don't have to take care of this stem, I can simply remove it and not take any care about it. Um, the point goes to Lalal AI because it's cleaner, it's more usable as a guitar itself. While there is some stuff going on in spectral layers that I would not like to hear at all. So there's a point for Lalal AI and I can't actually believe this. And there comes the piano part. There is no piano in this track and spectral layers retrieve, retrieved almost nothing some very low level hi-hat like stuff that could probably go as well as drums while wow, Lalal AI did a nice job. There's just very low, virtually inaudible noise. So this is better part. What's this? Oh, is there any piano here, really? Yes, my hearing is interpreting this sound as a single piano note syncopated. And Lala, Lala, there are more of these. There are some piano licks. Uh, somewhere very in the background in this dance mix. And Lalal AI kept sil uh, what should have been silent, kept it silent. Mm, spectral layers did some rhythmical noise. I like what Lalal AI did. And uh, this is getting interesting. It's 4 to 1 for Lalal AI. And here comes the last stem, which is called Other. The rest are unidentified stuff that could have not been placed anywhere else by, by this Steinberg AI. While I, while Lalal AI makes it synths, This is a medley of uh, bass and guitars without any transiental elements. Uh, so, not really, but congratulations for trying to retrieve the synths. Maybe here we're gonna hear some real synths that this track does have. And here comes the string part. Same story, it's not there, but thanks for trying and doing uh, it's your your best, sir, <laughs> for letting me let me have this option. And I can imagine it can work better. And as it is destructive, I already know it. I simply can 
skip this stem, I can delete this stem, I don't have to make any use of this stem. Uh, I don't need it, I just delete it and I move on. Two brass and woodwinds, mm, this is uh, an option and also it's not there in this track. Yeah, these are not woodwinds or brass instruments, but th again, thanks for trying. And this is a cool functionality. I can become more, actually more precise in my stem separation with Lalal AI. Um, and this is a point going to Lalal AI again, and I can't believe my eyes. Because, don't get me wrong, I believe that Spectral Layers is terrific. It is really very high quality. And also it has got some other advantages. I have to tell you, I'm going to talk about it in a minute. But Lalal AI does an impressive job here. And now let's make sure that um, Spectral Layers in, is non-destructive. Yes, it is non-destructive. While Lalal AI is. Too much material, especially in the bass range, continuous bassy, uh, bass like sounds. But as I said, I don't care. I don't need functionally mm, uh, and structurally to grab my stems back again to their original non-destructive form. Because if I separate them, that means that I want to use them in a creative way that's not going to sum up to the original, right? So uh, I'm absolutely fine with it. And in terms of non-destructive and destructive, it's, a, it's an even game. I have no preference, so I'm not going to give any points. But there's a definite point here for spectral layers. While Lalal AI makes you still uh, choose your stem first and uh, choose the track you're gonna extract the stem from. Would be cool that I simply put there a track and ask it, do all possible stems from this track. Um, I can do it. Also, it doesn't work as a VST plugin, as an ARA extension whatsoever. Uh, there's just an online service and there's just an app which does not make my stuff uh, and my work uh, any faster while spectral layers is a different game because this is my aura extension i click this and i got this track here and i can do a lot of stuff actually with spectral layers but i can unmix um, track song it's called song and it's so much more functional uh, because I don't have to drag and drop anything. I can make very quick stem renders and much, much more actually. So frankly, guys, for functionality, for the functionalities and the general user experience and flexibility, that's going to be not one, that's going to be two points. Because first of all, it happens faster, more user-friendly and more versatile way. And it's just inside the door. I don't have to go anywhere else. While Lalal AI is a bit time consuming and needs transferring stuff, your audio files to the door. So I'm gonna give two points to Spectral Ace while uh, Lalal AI is gonna get zero points. But I have to tell you for now, it's three to five. And this is a surprise because Lalal AI, it's not like a, by a huge margin, but Lalal AI is better. Ha! <laughs> and now, the next track, which sounds, let's take it from here, like this. Your skin the broma has in mocha, mocha, I promise you this life in joya, joya, you and me go there forever, forever, forever. The vocals are vocals, but some uh, delays, reverbs coming from the vocals, some very blurry background guitars, some synth elements, but they are not too obvious. So this is going to be a bit more difficult, I think. Let's listen to Spectral Layers vocals. When I see you, I just go loco, loco, your body language for Kuguro. When I see you, I just go loco, loco, your body language for Kuguro. Same story. I'm going to give one point 
to spectral layers uh, because uh, it's more spacious, it's more as intended. Mm, and mm, Lala AI is making me dry vocals, uh, but it's also kind of too much smudgy and blurry, uh, in my opinion. It's too trying to make them too dry. So a point goes to spectral layers and drums. Spectral layers drums are a bit more snappy, spacious, and the snare elements are full, fuller, are identified a bit better. Um, that's what I hear. So a point is going to get to spectral layers this time. I'm serious. It's not like I'm trying to make them even at any cost right now. But, um, but yeah, and I think that bass, again, is going to be a win for Lalo AI. There's nothing to talk about. A point goes to Lalal AI, which is a great, terrific tool for extracting bass itself. Uh, guitars, uh, and that's interesting because there are guitars, but they are very not so obvious. <laughs> No, that's not it. And this is interesting. And this is an easy point for spectral layers. This time the guitars went really smooth and efficient with spectral layers. Piano, let's play this piano from here. There's no piano in this track again. While Lalal AI kept this stem actually almost silent, there is some very little stuff going on here. Some uh, breaths of, of whatever it is, but it's cleaner on, on Lalal AI side. So it's uh, interpreted properly, correctly. Um, on Lalal AI side, the point goes there. And then goes other. Yeah, so this is the way that spectral, layer, uh, spectral layers told us, you, you know what, I don't know what to do with it. I don't know what it is. You take care of it. You might use it or not. That's it. That's what, what I'm left with. Um, yeah, and that's it. And then we're going to get synthesizers from Lalal AI, also a very rich stem. There is this vocal-like synth lead. Plus, kind of electric piano in the background. It's far from perfect, but it has been detected and taken some care of. Strings, there are no strings in this track. Yeah, like whatever, whatever, simply whatever, and winds. Ooh. Interesting. Is it there in the original? Okay. This is an interesting interpretation because it might have been taken as a woodwind instrument. Mm, sounded a bit like bassoon, for example. Kind of. Congratulations, Lalal AI. I'm not mad at all with you. Very nice try of retrieving something. So the point here for additional functionalities and additional options goes to Lalal AI. And you know what, guys? I'm going to count the points now. And these are the results, guys. Spectral layers, six points. Um, two points given for functionalities, not the sound quality, while... Eight points go to Lalal AI, of which six uh, of each which eight 
uh, are for sound, so it's like 4 to 8 sound-wise. Though I have to tell you that it's not a large uh, gap between these two systems for stem separation. I still do believe that Spectral Ears does a fantastic job. It just needs some help, especially with bass. And I know it, I'm used to it. Uh, but it gives very nice space in the vocals, usually, not always, uh, in, uh, on, on the drums layer. Mm, mm, while LAL AI tends to make things a bit dull, a bit too dry and too separated. But generally, I have to tell you that my most honest judgment is that LAL AI sounded a tad better. And this is a serious surprise for me. Seriously, I didn't expect it. I expected to say sorry to Lalal AI, but this is an honest review. And I don't have to say sorry. Maybe I should say sorry to Steinberg. No, I shouldn't. Uh, I know them and I think they're going to be cool because they are willing to work hard on improving stuff also. But Lalal AI, huh, guys, let's sum the things up. Making honest yet paid reviews is a cool adventure. It's very risky and it feels very nice because it's kind of, I don't know, emotional adventurous, you know, because you never know when you're going to pick somebody really seriously off. Uh, and for example, they're going to say, we're not going to pay. Uh, but when it's agreed that it's my honest opinion, I think, it should be always like this, and I really do believe that companies are open to my criticism, even when buying my time, not opinion, to shoot for them. And this is the case, and it's a fortunate case, that uh, Lalal AI uh, is a confident company, uh, and they are pretty confident about what they achieved there, and they are definitely not afraid of their competitors and they are not afraid to speak out loud and reach out to some YouTube people, for example. And that's really cool. I like it, guys, and I can easily, easily recommend Lalal AI to any of producers, remixers and other people interested in stem separation. Um, though there is just one but. In terms of functionality, I wish there was a plugin, for example, or even the app and an online service, but doing all the stems at one click, because each time I want to choose a certain stem, I have to point to the file that I want to extract. Not so much fun and not, not so much ease of use here, plus transferring it all to my DAW, because it's gonna all happen finally in the DAW for most of us. So yeah, this is a point of improvement while mm, spectral layers outshines everybody here and I know it in, in many for many reasons spectral layers not only stem separation other stuff uh, they outshine their competitors as well and it is also a great product and I'm gonna defend it but keeping to a uh, lalal AI again I can easily recommend it I'm absolutely beautifully surprised with it Mm, and I hope you liked it, guys. And I hope uh, you're going to give Lala AI a chance. And I hope to hear from you down below in the comment section. What do you think about my test? What's your stem separation tool? Take care. Bye.